seems you enjoy building your pleasure on my pain. I think every time when Jenny's in the unbox video, you seem to like it. Because I'm popular, what can I say? You are popular. <laughs> and you're popular on Instagram. Right? When, when the Instagram post has Jenny, we get way more likes and way more shit. What the fuck is this? Maybe you should look through yourself. Yeah, you I, sh I should do some reflection. <laughs> Ermas, unboxing. Dream bag for so many women around the world. One of the most expensive, one of the most prestigious brands in the world. Uh, I want to know why. I kind of know why my I have my take on it, but you are. But the, you don't appreciate their design somehow. I don't appreciate the design so much because as a businessman, I find the the tactic, they the way they sell. Although I know how effective it is, <laughs> uh, I don't like how they the way some of them they do this they sell. But I still admire what they're able to accomplish. So the Hermes, this is the the logo color, which is you look at the bag, you look at the box, beautiful box. Very nice packaging. Yeah, even the texture of the, the box is really, it feels like leather. It texture. feels like a little like leather. It's really, really nice, yeah. yeah. So, here we go. So, why don't we check out the bag? You already, okay. now I'm curious, you have a lot of Hermes. This is not the first one. Not, not, not a lot. You have a lot, she has like a lot. A few, okay, no, no, like... she has a lot, like a dozen. She has a lot, okay? <laughs> it's a lot. Like a closet full of Hermes. Like, why do they need so many of them? Because you need different color for different mood, for different outfit, right? My mood is bad. It's just one mood. Give me a black one. My mood is good. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's do this. Do I need to I feel like, drum Yeah, up? I feel like I'm taking some Why am I giving me drum roll? Close off or something. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, this bag. So, Hermes bag. I forgot what color I got. If you guys check uh, our Instagram stories, which is I filmed the whole thing, how I shop, and then actually the sales gave me a few options. I was like in a panic, like picking it. I don't know which one to do. But then in the end, me and Dan, we both agree, we pick this one. Mm. Isn't that cute? It's a 27 bow light. And then it's very rare. This bag is actually in the gold hardware. So that's why, and then this is kind of like a brownish color, neutral color, which is very, very popular and then can... And very like, classic. Very I, classic. I could see this one you can use for a long time. And yeah. Which one thing I do appreciate, although I don't appreciate the price, <laughs> I, do, I do appreciate the craftsmanship. It is a very well done, like compare... Super Because everything is, is handcrafted, right? It's imagine hand stitch. You can feel it. You can feel the, the difference. It's not even other nicer brands. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not doesn't come close to quality. I think simplicity. Yeah, elegance. Mm -hmm. Elegance, right? And okay. inside. Inside, inside is very simple. Okay, like that. They have, have a stripe composite. Yeah, stripe. Right here. So right there. Which see. still have a little bag. Very simple, like very, very simple. But everything is hand stitched. Yeah. Everything's hand stitched. And I see the logo. You see the logo man. with it. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very simple. Oops. Now, the most popular, the ones that, that the, Every girl's the, walk. the celebrities wear, a lot of the affluent, right? A lot of affluent clients and customers. Um, affluent market, yeah. housewives, they, they buy, ladies. Uh, it's the, the, the Kelly and the Birkins, right? Yes. And those run around about 10,000 and up? Uh, well, actually, almost prices, they go up every year. Yeah. So around 5% to 10%. So the earlier you get, of course, it's better. But, uh, but they do right hold now, the value. Yeah, right now the value is about, uh, I think, 11K to 12K. As far as I know, I know the profit margin for these, uh, for Louis Vuitton is about 40%. For Hermes is about thirty percent. So let's say you spend something, spend ten thousand dollars on a bag, it costs about three thousand dollars. Uh, no, but the profit they make about three thousand dollars. Oh, so the bag is about seven thousand dollars. Yeah, including like advertising wow. and, and the, like the rent and everything else. That's oh what I've read from research. So the profit margin make me is want to buy more. No, that's, that's a bad idea. It's a bad fucking idea. No. <laughs> Yeah, so this is a very little Q1, 27, and then the color, and then that, I, think, I think inside they also have some... What else? Have? This is a bag. Oh yeah, of course they have a... It's kind of like a menu. Kind of like a menu. But then the whole set of it. See how nice it is. Let's talk about the tactics. Okay. Because 
Hermes is one of those few brands which I study as well. The way that they do the sales, first of all, when you walk in there, let's say it's not just you have money. Let's say you want to buy a Birkins or a Birkins or okay. Kelly. It's not like you can walk in store. I say I want. I, even if you have ten thousand, twenty thousand dollars, they don't just sell that to you. No. They they set up the whole environment. The way they do the sales strategy is very very smart. Talk about supply and demand. What controls price is supply and demand. So they very much restrict the supply, mm -hmm. and they drive up the demand. Like people with, you know, we have to go to certain places to get it. Yeah. A lot of the color that you want, the style that you want, it's, it's they don't have been stock. Amazing. They don't even, they don't even think. Every single other stores, they would place all the merchandise out in a display window. They want you to buy it. Their best product, their most popular products, they don't place it anywhere in the fucking store. Why? Okay. Basically, they want you to go through the whole process of getting the bag, so make you cherish the bag even more. Uh, the whole thing is, it's funny enough. Like before, if, whenever, like let's say, even you know, in my hometown, or whether I go visit some other countries, and then I just have to do some homework, which means I have to go search. There's a, I think there's a luxury purse forum, and actually people share about experience how they can get a Birkin and Kelly easily. You cannot just get it. Like you cannot just walk in. So I can imagine every single store out there. You can walk in. I want to buy that. I'm buying it. But Hermes. No. First of all, they also you gotta almost play this game with the with the sales, right? With the sales okay. person. Okay. Start with let's say if you if you walk in the store and say, "Hi, I want to get a Birkin or Kelly." The salespeople look at you like, "Are you kidding me, girl? Like, yes. do you know what you're saying?" Yes. You, they will you, literally you look, give you, look, you that face. You look like an idiot. You say, <laughs> yeah. "I've got money right now. I want to buy his ten thousand yeah. dollars." They gotta say, "Sorry, I don't have anything here." Yeah. I they say, nothing. "I." I I don't have any. What do you mean? I have, you don't have anything. You have it right in the fucking back. What is this? They have. So, but they don't bring it out. So you gotta play this game. So they would do like, oh, you know, what? What else? Like, what are you looking? Yeah, for? you really start with. What is there anything you want? Is there anything particular you want? Let's see some other things. You go through the loops. Let's say, check out the shoes first, or the wallet first, or the plate, or the cup, yeah, or, or the a bunch of stuff. Yeah, exactly, the credit card, and then the watch first. Uh, but they then, also ask you, have you have? They also look at your history, right? Of have course. You, have you bought anything before, right? But it's um, I should say it's very depend on the the, the sales. The relationship. If with you the have sales. a really good relationship with the sales, and then she will don't like, don't have that good relationship with the sales. You should have a horrible relationship with the sales. Um, you should have a hateful relationship with the sales. Um, I have a hateful relationship with the sales for sure. I love you all my sales. Or my sales, I love you guys. No, 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 no. Don't, 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 don't burn our bridge. Don't do this. <laughs> okay, keep going. Yeah. So you have to basically they have um they have this kind of like rules, but then uh you have to basically each bag you're getting basically you have to get uh to uh, 0.5 times value of other things. So basically, if I want to spend, listen to this. So here's the logic. Yeah. I want to spend ten thousand dollars on this fucking handbag. Yeah. Before I can do it, I need to spend fifteen thousand dollars on a bunch of stuff. From five thousand to ten thousand depends on the sales. Depends on the sales. Okay. If it's a good day, it's five thousand dollars. If it's a bad day, ten thousand. I even heard some some friends like from the forum they say sometimes they can just walk into a store and then they would just have this offer, but it's very 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 rare. Very rare. So I gotta buy a bunch of stuff that's. High profit margin. Very to high show them you are the serious. loyal customer of Hermes, Hermes first. So I end up buying a bunch of stuff I don't really want. Yeah, even I just want a bag. Yeah. Then I can. So I need to give them money, buy a bunch of stuff that I don't want, so I can give them more money to buy the bag that I want. You gotta listen to this. And so you guys have noticed if when somebody was like walking, walking out with like those kind of orange bag, they not gonna only have one. Yeah, they have. Or either they have a huge one which has few things inside, or they have multiple ones. Yeah. That means you cannot just walk away with a bag without anything else. I love how like you play this game and this dance with the salesperson. It's like, hey, I noticed the inter, I noticed the interaction, and you kind of ask him. It's like almost like dating. It's like asking. It's like, well, you know, I'll see what I can do. The sales is like, well, yeah, let me know, and here's my, you know, number, my card, and and they text back and forth, and and after a few days, you just spend a whole bunch. Of money, and then they'll text you. Oh, by the way, I think maybe you can come in the store. I got something to show you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't even tell you beforehand. And, 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 and it's color. not like 
Oh, I go in. I want the color. I want the black. I want a certain type of color. It's not like that. It's it's no. It's here's what we got. Take it or leave it. Well, some of my girlfriends usually they give you two or three options. Oh yeah, great. Yeah, thank you very yeah. fucking much. Yeah, two or three options. Like oh yeah, <laughs> thank God. Yeah, two or three options, right? <laughs> Right. So that's the Hermes. Then are the sales tactics, but it works. Yeah. It, it just works, especially in Vancouver. Um, they are even a little bit. I want to use the word a little bit arrogant. The sales is a little bit snob, like a little bit like a snob, like. Mm, mm, yeah. It's not like super good customer no. service. After. After, after you purchase after something. After you purchase something, yes. it's good service. Yes. But before that, because quite frankly, most people walk into the store, they don't know what they're doing, they don't know how to play the game. No. They're kind of a little bit naive and. Like amateur when it comes to the. Culture. I heard somebody walking to every store asking, "Do you have Kelly Burger? Do you have Kelly Burger?" Yeah, they look at you like you, you don't, <laughs> like you don't, you don't even belong here. It's yeah. almost like a private club kind of setting, yeah. right? Even when we belong. It's always when, clubs. like, when I go to Armas, always like, don't look at bags. So the first thing you do, oh, let's check out some shoes, maybe some jackets. Oh, okay, this uh, wallet is pretty, or this bracelet is pretty. And then we can talk about the bag. <laughs> and then after a couple, like you know, a couple times, maybe like talk a little bit for a little bit longer. Mm. Maybe the sales will want to tell you, okay, I do have something coming, but it's not gonna be the same day. I think if you ever want to experience really how high ticket sales is done, especially <laughs> like how ticket away selling is closers. Done, no, like if if you are closer, if your sales people or your business owner, if you ever experience. Like you just want to see how the power of takeaway selling. Go to Hermes store, walk in, and just get a feel. You you actually well, learn I a lot. I have a bad feeling. About it. Please don't mention because you watch Dan Lok's video. Oh, yeah, That's why you visit Hermes. Don't do that. Please shit. don't do that. We're gonna be blacklisted. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. don't. No, actually do it. Then she'll be blacklisted. No. She can't buy no more. Please. She can't buy no more. <laughs> but you actually learn a lot from it. I learn a lot from it. Just the way they set it up. That's why. In, 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 on one hand, I admire what they've done, the way they sell the sales environment. On the other hand, I feel like, damn, like I can't just buy what I want. I gotta spend no. all this money to buy all these other things. And which most of those items are again highly profitable. Those are the mm. huge markup items, right? The bag is actually maybe least markup because the craftsmanship, the leather, and all that. That's but, what's known. But the plate and like the stupid shit, whatever it is, but it is, right? It's the just blanket, the blanket, the, the, even the furniture, like, yeah, yeah. It's pretty, it's pretty Those crazy. are very expensive. So, the, okay, let me ask you this before we go. Does that mean every time we go buy like a, a Birkins or Kelly, we have to spend extra money before we can buy it? Or you have, you already have no, a couple? No, that's why you have to always build relationship with certain sales, only couple sales people. Okay, so then when she has some like new product yeah. and still yeah. call you. Yeah, but then, um, how could I say it? Because sometimes when you work out with this bag, most of the time people will get a, let's say a twilly, which is like a scarf for the bag. This is how That's right, you heard it right, the scarf for the bag. Not it's for like you, a... <laughs> for the damn bag. <laughs> but it's like a decoration. That, that one's not uh, like $300. $300. And then you will get some accessory on the bag. That's another few hundred bucks. Like a few hundred bucks. Yeah. And then, yeah, so you wouldn't just walk away with this. Interesting. Yes. So there you go, that's unboxing Hermes. This would be the final video. We won't do more Hermes unboxing. I'm, I'm shutting down the channel. This is done. No, don't even comment below. Don't tell me. Oh, uh, Dan, you want to unbox uh, Kelly or, or, or Birkins? Fuck you guys. Okay, don't even try it. <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. That's it. Finish. The do end. you guys want to see how we get the our end. Birkin no, or Kelly? No. I would love to show you guys. No, no. Please comment below no. for Jenny. No. Not for Dan. Don't worry about it. No. No. Nobody wants to see you. No. For Jenny. Why? <laughs>